<clears throat> hey guys, welcome to Genshin Impact. Today I'm just gonna explore on my second account. Just here for fun, just just to vibe. I have some chill bops from uh, Epic Demic Sound that I'm gonna be using for this video. That way, you know, we get some vibes that aren't uh, <laughs> Genshin Impact music, and I don't want to. Uh, I think we can you know. go the lost and found report. Deal with possible copyright stuff in the future. Although I've never had a problem, you know, this is just for me to test out some new stuff because I do have some things that would be a problem without some music. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. We're just going to be exploring Liyue. I haven't actually uh, explored a ton of it yet because this is my second account and I haven't had a ton of time. But as you can see, I'm a little- I've got a decent percentage here. <laughs> I should get further into Sumeru though. Ugh. Anyway. We should be doing fine. I should figure out some stuff. I am on the part where I need to fight the Shogun. Uh, so... Maybe we'll do that today, too. I was not strong enough when I tried to do it before, so hopefully I will be now. Let's dive on in and just enjoy some chill vibes here in Liyue. God, it's been so long. Like, I was going through half of this area earlier, and I was like, oh my god, I don't even remember it. Like, I used to be able to walk Liyue literally without really using the map. From here, all the way to Liyue. You know, and like, well, I mean, that's pretty easy. But I mean, like, I could walk, like, I could be here, and I know where I was and how to get anywhere. And now I'm just like, where am I? What's happening? Ah! <laughs> so, we'll find out. Just here to relax. I needed some chill time to be able to just run around and play with my second team that I don't really use that much. I did just get Hu Tao, so don't, don't judge me. <laughs> I got her on her last run for this account because I needed a pyro person that wasn't Bennett. Um, <sighs> so comfy. I honestly need to fight that walker flower. Time to act. I'll do it. And I think we should f head further inland. I think that's where I haven't explored. Keep up. I condemn you. That was probably dumb. I tried doing some uh, nature sounds here in Genshin. I figured that's probably as much Genshin as you can get. I haven't really done a ton of exploration on epidemic sound yet for the vibes <coughs> that I want to use, especially for um for um the kind of content that I'm going to be doing, but I think that this should be fine for exploration, right? Oh, happy vibes. God, I just- I love this game so much, as I'm sure many rave about anyone who has stumbled upon my channel in the dark of night <laughs> has seen I just I, I love I love this game so much 
That being said, I don't think it's imperfect. I think it's got quite a few flaws, but for what I love and my needs, it meets them, so. It's never disappointed me, really, <laughs> as far as that goes. And anything that has, has for the most part been patched, so. Something directly south of us. Oh, there we go. I know I'm missing a ton of chests. She probably just sees you. Uh, oh, no glitching too early. Freaking beautiful. I remember when they released Liyue, and I was like... How could they top this? I was like, you know, I started having those thoughts of like, what if it- what if I never have this feeling again? What if, you know, what- what- and it's- it just- it just spiraled. But they've surpassed my expectations. I gotta say, contrary to probably popular opinion, Inazuma was not my favorite. Um, I think it was just wild that we went from such a big landmass to Inazuma. Like, Inazuma was so small. Um, and I, like, got, you know, 100% on stuff in Inazuma. Well, I can't look at this one. I don't know why I'm looking at this one. Because <laughs> this one's not going to be right. This is my second account. But anyway, I think I have 100% on everything in Inazuma. Um, and I got that, like, within, I don't know, first couple months of playing. Because it's just such a small landmass. You know? I think there was one island that it took a while because I had to do a quest or something that I kept putting off. But other than that, like... You know, it was just- it was just so easy to explore, and I was like, what is happening? <laughs> that being said, I loved the story in Inazuma and stuff. I was just a little disappointed on the exploration, but... There's also quite the possibility that I was just, you know, upset. In general. Because I go through this period Every single time when there's a new, like, map patch, like, big map patch, I get really, like, upset. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's, like, I don't think I explored enough. Because I know that's definitely how it was with Sumeru to Fontaine. I was like, no! I haven't finished exploring! Um, but now it's just, like, I don't think that that's the case. Ooh, this sounds kind of spooky. I'm okay with not listening to that one. We need some- Look at how bright and golden this is. We need vibes that complement that. But yeah, I just- I think that that for Sumeru, I was just upset because I wasn't ready for Sumeru to be over. But I also got upset when they patched for Sumeru. Well, I don't know. I think I just didn't have the time then to be able to play it. And I was upset because I was like, why couldn't you have waited a week? Right? <laughs> or why couldn't you have done this a week sooner? Like, why'd you have to do it at the worst time possible? Um, which is totally not their fault or anybody else's. That's just a personal problem. Um... Okay, now this song is too high. But I'm here for it. Oh, is that another bloody floaty? No, it's not. 
This is my favorite part of Genshin, though. And I think that's why I got so upset. Is because my favorite part of Genshin is exploration. I mean, I love the story quests, too. That's probably, like, a very close second. But the exploration is just everything to me. I just- the fact that I could free explore on a game that I didn't have to pay anything for <laughs> when the game first came out, like, that was just everything. I was like- I just- I couldn't believe it. I fell so hard so fast. And I know it's a tactic, I'm not like, you know, but it doesn't make me love it any less. Okay, so this is where what's her name was. We're at the top of the map. Yeah, there I think I ex I think I fully explored this area. This was probably my least favorite place to explore. Because I was still on mobile when I first explored this area. And dude, I could not do it. We can take him on, right? Wake up! And oh! Good morning! Let's get it! I think we're gonna have to take Hu Tao <clears throat> to get her, uh... I think we're gonna have to take Hu Tao to get her, um, artifacts, because this is not going too good for her. She's way stronger than this. I will shame my shelf later. Uh, myself, I think I said my shelf. I will say I will shame myself myself Jesus. later when I show you her artifacts. They're so bad. I don't I don't put a lot of time into this account. Uh, un unless I have time, which is not often, so. I'm still wondering what's here. I think it's gonna be Pyroland. Oh, Oh, and we, oh, yeah, that's right. We were supposed to do that. That was the whole point of fighting him. I'm a big dumb. Oh, there's a chest there, too. Holy shit. more than anybody else. Alright. Oh! Who is it? <gasps> Hi! Yeah! 
That gave me no health back. So, I guess we could discuss some of these builds while I'm on here. Um, Hu Tao is one of those characters that you play. She's supposed to lose health. Like, you want her. You use that to make her attack stronger. I don't know why I waited so long to do that. You use her attack. You do that to enhance her attack, but it does take wreak havoc on her health. But then you do her ult. And it does a lot of damage, and it gives her health back. So she can actually build back her own health, somewhat. And you don't necessarily need a healer. But I still think it's really good to play her with a healer, it really buffs her a lot. Um, as far as that goes, it just makes it easier. <laughs> but... I'll hang out with you youngsters. I need to upgrade Farzan on too. Oh, it's still below us. Okay. I just love her design. I really need to play her more. Ah, oh, there it is. My problem with this account is that I have way too many Hydro people, Animo people, and even Cryo, I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong though. But if you see the amount of Hydro people, you'll understand. Look at all the Animo people I have. And look at the hydro people, dude. Of course, I don't have a lot of the five stars, but I mean, like out of the ones I can play, cause I don't, I don't even know if I mentioned this in this video yet, but I don't play characters that I play, that I main in my other account. So I play Mona, like she's one of my mains, even though I don't play her that much anymore. She is still built. She is one of my mains. She's one of the people that, one of the first ones that I actually, really my main Hydro, honestly. Uh, now I have Kokomi, but she's just a healer, and I have Farina, and I've always had Tartaglia on my other account. But in this, I try to main people that I don't have, right? So I have Nilu that I've been building. I've been building Yelan. As you can see, I have Zing Cho oops, on my team. And then I also, you know, have been, it's like, I'm trying to build all, Candace, I've been trying to build all of these people and they all have the same element type. So it's so hard. And then with this, it's like, I have Venti, I have Farzan. I don't use her really. Sucrose I was building, but it's all right. I don't really use her that much either. Um, then I have Kirara, Tainari. You can tell I use Tainari a lot. He's kind of my main. Uh, ben is the only one I allowed myself to use because I literally use everybody on Pyro. But I was like, Bennett, Bennett deserves it, so. I tried using Yanfei, don't really like her that much. Um, and then obviously I just got Hu Tao. And then I have. Yula, as you can tell, she's on my team. She's probably my main cryo. I've also built Layla. And... Fermine, I'm using him on my main account, so he's probably just gonna chill in here. Um, and you know I use Rosaria. So it's just, it's, it's hard. Trying to build all these people. The only Electro person I can use is Sara, which is kinda sucky. Um, I would love to have Shogun or Yai. These are the two that I don't have and don't use on my main. And I really wanted Zongli or Ito, but that never happened either. So, maybe in the future. We'll see. <gasps> Asili! Hello, sir. So anyway, back to hotel, I guess. Um... I climb this thing. Huh. Yeah. 
damn it. She failed me. When building Hu Tao, I'm gonna try to focus on. I think it's Crimson Witch of Flames that I want. I think that's the one that I. the artifact set that I am trying to accomplish. <laughs> She's so low. Um, yeah. But I have to get the right. See, the issue with the artifact sets in Genshin is they're completely random and you want to get certain things for each one like what is it um crimson much of flames so like the flower is always hp so you can't change the main one it's always hp but the substats can change you know i'm just i'm explaining this for beginners um and then the feather is always attack and then you know obviously the substats then these can all be different these three can all the actual main thing can be different and so depending on which character you're trying to build how you want to play them depends on the way you want to build them i mean the way you should build them right so it's like really annoying because you could do as much as you want <laughs> you could spend as much time as you want and not get the artifacts that you want because they're randomized um, so that's kind of, that's probably one of my main issues with Genshin, you know, but. Because there's no way you can get what you want. There's no way. Um, and except, like, you know, randomly. So even the characters that you work so hard to build. I, I just, I think that eventually you should be able to guarantee what you want. You know, like, for the wishes for this. Eventually, you can be guaranteed what you want by choosing it. Sure, it takes freaking forever and it's annoying still, but at least you eventually get what you want, right? To me, that's how it should be for the artifact set too. Because at least you could put in, okay, I need, you know, HP percent or something for, for artifacts. Um, I don't, I don't know if that's what I'm building or not, I don't remember, but <laughs> it's in my book, I wrote it down. But, um, that's just, you know, like, you should be able to be guaranteed that eventually. And I also have a hard time building these, because I want to get the gold ones, which are the most, you know, the ones that'll actually last forever. Um, these are kind of like, well, they're not actually going to do a ton of, um, they're not going to last me super long, so I have a hard time, like, actually putting, you know, materials into them that I'm never going to get back. Alright, let's see. Oops. Must be one I missed over here. So. Oh, it's up there. It wasn't that great? Rain outlines your. <laughs> you can do it, Rutan.
Take out Farzan. Put it in the world. What's your battle plan? I think when I got you is when I knew this account could be promising. Good luck doesn't discriminate by because you is a really good character. And I love Clay Morris. I always talk about how I love uh, archers and mages, but honestly, Claymore was my first, like, thing that I actually chose to use when I got Beto on my first account, my main account. <laughs> and I built her and I was like, Beto. Um. Just trying to take this time to relax and enjoy Leo. And destroy some of the local uh, <laughs> bushes and stuff, local species. God, it's just so beautiful. I can't believe I'm back in this area. I keep trying to get out of it and I keep ending up same in the same area. I see a chest. Oh, what a cute treasure coffin. And here she goes, but her coffin of treasures. Um what's I gonna say? Oh yeah. So Zing Cho, the second person on my team. Um He is I use him more like a support. His little swords give you uh, health after a while. They also... I forget what they call it exactly. Let me look it up. That way I don't get in trouble. Okay. Uh, 
So obviously you can use the, you'd use it to put Hydra on, right? So 20% of his Hydra damage bonus will be converted to additional damage reduction for the Rain Swords. The amount of additional damage reduction that it can be gained is 24. So he can do his, this skill and then this converts his damage. It also shields you, I believe. Yeah, when the cat when the character takes damage, it will shatter, reducing the amount of damage taking. So that's how it's the damage reduction occurs. But the less times you get hit, the more sh like the more swords you have, basically, the more health you get back from you know when when it goes away. So if you lose a sword, you're gonna get less health back because you know what I mean. You're, you're missing a sword. So that's that's uh as far as support goes. You don't want to run. Uh, you want to try to not get hit so that you have your swords to give you health back. Um, but they also do help damage reduction. So he he's pretty good good starting uh, Hydra character and a good character overall to build. To have as a backup. Tainari, my archer. Um, lots of people... I think Tainari is a, a favorite. <laughs> um, but he is available on the basic banner. So in Genshin there's two banners. Well technically there's three, but these are on the same one. It's just, you know, two different ones because they have enough characters to do that now. But this is the main wish. And all the basic characters end up on this banner eventually if, you know, they take a couple from each area that will be on this banner that you can wish for. And it's a good way to get characters that you can um, then uh, a good way to get characters that you can then get their constellations because that's a whole other part about Genshin. It's probably so overwhelming if you've never played it before. Um, you get the constellations for the character. Not only do you want to unlock the first character, but you want to get more of that character to be able to gain things that increase for each time. Um, things that buff the character, basically. Huh. Mm. Now, each character is unique. So some characters, it's not as worth it, quote, you know, in quotes, to get other versions of them. You know, if you, if you just like the character for how they are, and you're like, oh, I don't, I don't really need to buff them. You know, they're, they're strong enough, they're fine. You don't have to get those constellations. You know, there's no requirement that says you have to. But it can be super beneficial if it is a character you want to main. Um, but it can also be really hard to do that. But for characters like Tainari that are on the basic banner, you know, you just wish on the basic banner on occasion and eventually you'll get somebody. You know, whether it's, you know, somebody you actually want or not, I don't know. But you will build your second characters, because it's required to give you one, you know, every so many. It's required to give you somebody on the banner. Um, let me think. If there's anything else I should tell you guys about Tainari. Um, okay. So how he works, I guess I'll use this guy to help us out. This guy's being really annoying. He hold down his uh, archery, and he shoots a bunch of little dendro at the person. I'll do it again. Whenever the guy comes back, where is he? There he is. Fell off the cliff. All right. <laughs> See, it does that. You could also just attack the basic attack. That throws Dendro around, so that way you can create the bloom effect or, you know, whatever effect you're trying to do with Dendro. 
Oh, it'll do an AoE to help you do that. And then... Using Cho's alt, you know, all the sh the swords are able to, with each attack, they come out and um, inflict damage, and you can switch characters and still have his same alt happening. Uh, to help with that. I condemn you. Which is why he's just such a good support character. Like I just can't emphasize it enough. Um. But for Tainari, his alt, which I call it an alt because I've played a lot of <laughs> multiplayer online games, you know, MMORPGs, but um, so it's basically the same thing that happens when you hold down this where all the particles ricochet off of whatever, like, they, it creates, like, f however many particles that hit the target. Um, it's, like, the same thing, but it's way more damage because it's the elemental skill, right? Um, and they track the opponent, so you do it and it kind of targets whoever. Hopefully it targets the right person. <laughs> Um, it says here that it's six, so I think it's a couple more than his regular thing. Um, and it does denger damage. So it's not, like, based on... It's just however... So you want to build him, because he does denger damage, if that's what you want to focus on. You want to build him so that you do stuff... This is not what... This is just what I'm building for right now. Um, you do stuff to help him build his danger damage to make it stronger and there's an elemental uh artifact keep hitting the wrong button that helps you do that i don't know if anybody on here has it called deep wood memories here it is so this is danger damage it uh gives you damage or damage uh percent and then it also um when bursts or skills hit opponents, their dendral res will be decreased for by 30% for 8 seconds. So this really helps. And it, the character just needs to be in the team. They don't even need to be on the field for this to be a thing. So it's very, very good. Um, I really like that artifact set. But I've been building him with Wanderer's Trip right now while I'm trying to build my teams because this, this account is really really low <laughs> um as far as the world the world is like <laughs> i'm only at world level five um but in order to buff up my teams i've been building him with um this artifact set so that way he can have charge attack damage so this helps when I do charged attack is when you hold down your mouse and you do an attack. So it's pretty easy to see on a bow user like him. But like with her, it's when I hold down and she just does that. It looks different for different people. Um, Yulis is so pretty. I condemn you. <laughs> but yeah, so that's a charged attack. So it's something that takes a couple seconds to hold down, so you gotta have the time when fight, you gotta time it right. But, yeah. So I've been building it like that, just so that he can help out in my everyday teams, because I'm not in Subaru, and I'm not trying to totally focus on danger damage. Um, I just want a strong archer that I can use with virtually anybody, um, for the most part. So. Keep up. I see that Sealy. Oh, do I want it? Do I though? I really do. I'll get into Yule after we fight these guys. Uh, Red outlines your fate. No, my sword. Time to act. 
Let me leave you alone. Let's nip that in the butt. Down here. God. Beg for mercy. Witness the power for what? Higher, higher, my fire. So did you see how at the beginning of the fight I did this E attack to his uh, skill, not his burst, his skill, and it did it twice. So it did it, did it and then it like does the thing where it comes back. It, it'll only work if I uh, if I hit another, if I hit a target. Um, but that is because I have some of his constellations. So like earlier I was talking about Tayonari and how he's on the basic banner and how you can get additional ones of him. Well, for Zin Cho, it's like the same thing. Um, but he's a... Okay, so there is a difference that I didn't explain. So... There's four stars, which are these purple guys, and Sing Cho is one of them. And there's five stars, like Tainar. The five stars, as one can assume, are harder to get than the basic four stars. The four stars, you can pull, like, whatever, right? And on any banner, really. But on, it does depend, um, so like for right now on the main banner, these are the four stars that they have. But if you look in the details, there's usually a couple more that they drop along with those. I don't remember how to look. Yes, yeah, so these are all the four stars that could drop, including the weapons, but we haven't even gotten to that yet. But. Like Barbara, Beta, Ning Long, Beta, Beto, <laughs> Ning Long, Bennett, Chong Yun, Sucrose. All of these people can drop. It, Zing Cho isn't on here though for this time, but they can always they can always drop. Um, but I am a firm believer that four stars are in no way less good. I think four stars are actually almost better, especially if you're a more free-to-play player like me um, that doesn't like to blow money on the game. I'm okay with, on occasion, you know, getting the welcome bonus to help me get Prima Gems so that I can wish for whoever I want. Um, have a little bit more chance, but I, I try my best not to blow a lot of money on the game. Um, but... The game itself, how you want to play it is up to you. You know, that's just how that's just how I play it. I try my best not to blow a lot on it. But the four stars you can build without having to try to wish for them and trying to get them. The five stars are much harder because when you get them is more rare and trying to get their- it makes trying to get their constellations even harder. Like, you can build a four stars constellation so much faster, um, even if you're free to play. So, I just wanted to explain that a little bit as to why his thing popped back. Oh, it also increases the character's resistance to interruption. That's huge. So when you're in the middle of battling, it, uh, increases the- 
likelihood of you getting interrupted trying to make it do a skill. I think Tro's just so good. I, I don't know. He, he's just really good. <laughs> Thanks for that. Okay, so I always try to get these guys first. Well, I try to. Sometimes they're hiding, sometimes. Oh my god, I'm stuck. Rack and ruin. And I try to go for those guys in the bubble too, the mages. Oh, they're so annoying. See, it just did it again. Where it, um... Let's nip that in the butt. Crush! It be sad. So then you can do this skill twice. See, it does that little clock to tell you, hey, you can do it again. Oh, shoot, sorry. So the next person I guess I have to explain is Eula <laughs> on this team. Um, I really, I, I love her. <laughs> I mean, there's not a lot of characters I play that I don't love, but as far as Eula goes, um, I really like her because you can build her. She works really well as physical damage. Um, which is not common in a lot of Genshin characters. You can build them as physical DPS, but they don't play super well as that all the time. Um, I find that her and Rosaria are some of the best ones. Um, but Yule is really, really good because you can build her that way and she works really well and she's Cryo. Um, so I can- physical damage means that I'm not really using an element. Like I do use her- her- she has- uh, she's cryo, so she has like a frost as her- her element. But I can do attacks on a lot of- uh, Time to scout. I can do attacks on most enemies that, you know, aren't protected by a shield or such. Um, a lot of damage on them when they're not protected by anything. So I can just have her on a team and I can basically play her against almost anything, which is super nice. Characters that rely on just the elements, it's why you have to switch out your teams a lot because sometimes it's like, well, I can't use this person against this element. I can't do this, I can't do that. No, well, you can just keep her on there. For the most part, you get down the shield or whatever, and she can do she can do damage. Um, so it's really really nice. And I have her built really strong. I have her built with my one of my favorite swords, free to play swords in the game, called Prototype Archaic. You can build it at any crafting station once you get the uh, the what's it called the um, blueprint, and you can refine it yourself. Um, clearly, I've only refined it twice, but on my main account, I refined it all five times. I use it on Beto on my main account. <laughs> I absolutely adore Beto, as everybody knows. I love her. But yeah, so it works really well on Eula too. Um, I'm thinking that the one from Dragon Spine, I forget what it's called. I think it's something of Frost or whatever. That one I think you can use on Eula too, since she's Cryo. But I've I don't know how well that'll work, like, you know, physical damage-wise, when I just want her to be physical damage. So I don't know if I'll change it. 
I do use the Dragon Spine Spear though on Rosaria on my main account. But yeah, so I have her with Pale Flame. So this does physical damage. Um, it increases it by 25%. And then when you get four out of the five piece set, um, when an elemental skill hits an opponent, attack is increased by 9% for seven seconds. It can uh, stack up to two times and be triggered once every 0.3 seconds. Once two stacks are reached, the two set effect is increased by 100%. So this is a very, very good um, artifact set too, if you're trying to do physical damage. That's what I use on her, and then, um, what was I gonna say? I don't have any of her constellation tools, hard to get <laughs> constellations for. I haven't seen her run in so long. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to mention about her. I don't think so, but I guess we can go through the weapons now. So I just explained this one that I like to use for Yola. Um, normal or charged attacks have a 50% chance to deal an additional 300% attack damage to small opponents, uh, to small opponents, to opponents within a small area of effect. Can only occur once every 15 seconds. It's just, this increases every time you uh, refine it, that's why it's in a different color. Um, and because they want to emphasize that it's 300 percent um i just find that this really helps since i'm trying i use her as my defense you know i use her as my way to when i i i, I do all of my little you know um elemental stuff and then i toss in yule to finish up the job or to you know knock them back or something you know, and then, so this really helps because it can give you some extra damage when you're trying to accomplish that while she, I also have her built as physical damage. I know we're getting into the more complicated stuff. I hope you guys are holding on okay. Um, so Zing Cho, I know it's a lot, it's, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> I, most of my knowledge has come from just playing the game. And this is the way that I play it. Different people play it differently, and I'm not trying to, you know, I just, I, I like to talk about it. So I figured maybe I could, you know, say some stuff, help some people that are either considering playing Genshin or just have some questions. Um, I'm also open to talking about almost any character that I have. Like I said, this is my second account. So my main account, I play many different other characters. If you ever have seen my story quests, most of those characters are the ones that I mean. So if you have any questions about those, I can totally hit you up. <laughs> I can totally give you any kind of information you want on those. Um, but yeah, anyways. So for Zing Cho, let me take a sip of my coffee here. Ugh. Okay, Zing Cho. So, this is an extremely common sword to have on Zing Cho. It's a four star, it's very easy to get. You can get it in chests, I believe. You, I, I think you can pull it on the banner too, but I think I believe you can get it in chests. Um, maybe not. Maybe it's just on the, the, um, the banner. But, the uh, sacrificial sword. So once you've played long enough, it's really easy to get have like several of these and I honestly have two on my main account um I didn't when I enhanced it I didn't uh use up all of these I saved it and I refined two of them to rank five because I figured this is a really good sword you can use it for it's so versatile you can use it with so many different types of characters so it's a pretty nice sword um so what it does is, after damaging an opponent with an elemental skill, the skill has a 70%- Oh, this is how I got it back! Y'all, I'm so stupid! The skill has a 70% chance to end its own cooldown. So whenever I do this... Let's sing Cho. It has a 70% chance to... You know, 
end its cooldown, so I can immediately do the skill again. Um, I'm pointing at the screen like you can see me, but you can't. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> um, so that's how it works. Uh, that's where it was coming from. I was like, it's not in the constellation. I thought for sure it was. I, I apologize. Um, but yeah, when you build this up, I think it gets to... Is that refinery rank 4? It gets to 80%. So it's pretty good. Um, and then for him, I just have Exile and Gladiator's Finale. I, I don't know what I'm doing. We're not going to look at that. Um, like I said, I have several of his constellations. The last one is usually a pretty big one. Oh, it regenerates three energy. That's really nice. Um, and the other part about this game... I don't know why that wasn't leveled up. That's just sad. Um, is that I'm gonna get into the weapons for the other two characters that I was showing you guys. But one thing that I want to mention is these talents that I somehow failed to level up here. Um, each time you upgrade a character, you ascend them to another level. Their main level. After the first two times that you send them, I believe, I think that's right, <laughs> you can start leveling up their talents. And you can only do it uh, two times a time. So like, after the first time you're able to do that, who was I looking at earlier? Was it Farzone? No, it was not Farzone. Here's one. Uh, so for Yelong. I've leveled her up to 60. So I got her there and then I was able to do... These were both at level 2 and I was able to get them to 4. And then the next time I do it I'll be able to get them to 6, like how where Eula is. And then next time I'll be able to get them higher and then at a certain point you can do them all the way. Um, but it's not till I think you have them to 90, right? Um, but yeah, so that's a whole other point, is upgrading their actual talents that you use to fight stuff with. Um, this is what does direct damage to things. So you can't just level up their weapon and their artifacts and expect everything to be all good. No, there's talents too. <laughs> it's very involved. Um, okay, so Tainari, so his weapon. So this is one of my favorite weapons uh, in the game. It came out in in Azuma, I believe, um, when Yoimiya came out. It was around that time. And I use it on Yoimiya on my main account. It's one of my favorite weapons. Um, but it does have a debuff, so it increases normal attack damage, but charge attack damage is less. But then. As you can see, with my Wanderer's Trope, I increase charge attack damage. So I kind of try to make up for it a little bit. <laughs> but, you know, it's fine. Uh, it's whatever. Um, but I really like this because it helps a character that's DPS, right? And I've been trying to build him that way. And I think Rust is a pretty good... Uh, pretty good bow. And this only goes up as you refine it, and it's it's a four star, so you can pull this bow a lot. Um, who was the other one that I was doing? Oh yeah, Huta. So her weapon that I've been using for her is Dragon's Bane. I don't think this is one that's like a favorite for Huta, but it is one that I like with her so far. She is a five star and she's one of the like, I don't know. She's one of the ones that is kind of like more encouraged for you to get her specific weapon. So a lot of, every five star character has their own weapon. <laughs> this is a whole other part. But it only, you can only get it when they are on the banner. Right? And there's there's plenty of weapons that can work for a character, but you can only wish for that weapon when it's on the banner, for the most part, unless they're 
you know, a basic five star. Um, but for right now, we have Sino and we have Ayato. This is Ayato's sword. This is Sino's uh, spear. I love this spear. I really wanted it, but I'm trying to save for uh, Navia. Anyways, so <laughs> um, that's a whole other part. So like she has her own weapon that's actually really, really good that I think uh, might be in your best interest to pull for if you were to get her. But there's always four star options you can go with that are fine. You know, that you don't need the five star weapon for. Venti's like that too. His uh his weapon's really, really good. But this the stringless is an awesome weapon. And I it works really good on him. It also works really good on child tartag. Yeah. Um but yeah. Iridescent veneer all day, baby. <laughs> um I'm trying to remember if there's anything else about Venti. I don't think so. I was playing him earlier. He's really fun. He's kind of trolly. Like, you can play him and, you know, um, be. <laughs> there they go. Um, make life difficult for everybody else. Um, Oh, I don't know where this, where the Sealy went. Did I get it? Maybe I did, perhaps I did. Um, but anyway. So. The characters like um, Venti. He, there's a lot of lore behind Venti. He is one of the Archons. I'm not gonna say too much. If you guys are new players, you know, I don't want to spoil anything. Um, stay away from the internet though, it will spoil everything. <laughs> but he is one of the Archons. So he's OP to begin with. Um, but... I find that his skills are good on almost anyone. He is Animo though, which is kind of like the freaking. <laughs> it, it, it's one of the less strong elements, I find. It's kind of like Dendro, where you want to have other elements to combine it with. But that's what you do. So you do something and then you use wind to continue to use Time that um, to do extra damage, right? So then you do his ult and it just tosses them into this giant like tornado basically. And yeah, and then all your little uh, things that you need to collect are all in one little pool and it makes it really easy to collect everything. Um, you can also hold down his skill to help him get uh, higher on the wind basically which is helpful for you know trying to get places he it makes it very easy to get like a lot of the um, things that we need to collect for the statues the oculuses I don't want to say there's like so many of them now but yeah that helps get them easier for some of them but yeah and helps you explore easier. It's a big reason that I wanted him actually, was just so that it would be easier to explore. Cause on my main account, I have Alhatham and I have Kaching, and both of their skills help you get get to higher places really quick. Um, I totally mean that in like the most <laughs> the most basic sense of the word, not in anything weird. Um, look at him go with his giant. Totem. 
Brace yourself. No, my soul. I'll uproot you. I feel like I loaded so much information on y'all, especially if you're a new player, but hopefully some of it made sense. It wasn't totally organized, which I'm sure is annoying. Um, but I just wanted to voice some things about these characters that I've been playing today, so that way you guys have a little bit more understanding of them um, as I play them. This mostly came from an idea that stemmed with uh, my mom <laughs> when she was watching me play, and she plays a lot of games, but she was like, oh, I want to know, like, how each character functions, how they play, how you play them, things like that, and I was like, oh, well, that's actually a good idea, a good, you know, something for me to record, something, a good idea for me to bring to life for my audience if they care to know. Of course, if you are a Genshin player, it's probably so boring, because you're like, oh, well, I already played this game, so whatever. But... Freaking weasel. Body and mind. Uh... Body and mind. <laughs> Couldn't get him. Um... Yeah, so this was just an idea sprung about by my mom. But I'm sure I'll do it again. I'm sure I'll... I need to do another one on my main account where I go through each character that I've been building hardcore and show you what I've been doing with them. There's no end to this. <laughs> but this one's more like, you know, um, preliminary. Just like more basic characters that some of them at least that a lot of people already know how to play. So I've done some solid exploration here. I don't know how much progress we've made. Still 68% here, even though we got like 85 chests up here. 81% here. I think this was at 78. I could be wrong. Um. This music's making me sleepy. Venti's just super trolly. I don't know how else to explain him. It's like, I could explain how Venti works, but... He's pretty, like, self-explanatory and just trolly. Like... Maybe the reason he's survived so long is just because people can... <laughs> he, he's just... His, he's so OP, you know? I see the star. Oh, something else nifty that I guess I should mention is that if you have animo people on your team, especially if you have more than one, um, they help boost the team with whatever element they have, right? So I have animo, so it helps me fly longer. Um, it's not like super noticeable, but it does help your stamina bar. To have an animal person on the team if you're gonna be doing a lot of exploration in an area like this. Um I'm not fighting anything. Who wants to fight? Stuck. Yeah. 
myself. This way, apparently. Ah, oh, there it is. If we bury it, maybe it will spring back to life. And so much progress today. I just had such a good chat. I hope that it's been interesting enough for you guys. I know I've kind of been like, I feel like I've been like spewing nonsense. I had a lot of coffee. <laughs> I don't usually talk a ton, but just get me on one of my rants about a video game that I really like and I'll be here for hours. Um, I hope that I was able to be helpful and give you some <laughs> advice, some solid advice on uh, the characters here that I'm playing. Um, and just overall, how to play the game. Honestly, it's kind of sad, but it took a really long time for me to actually realize, wait, there's talents. <laughs> so I felt like I should hardcore mention that. Because um, I did not know you could level them up for a really long time. It's really sad. I'm not going to say how long, but it was a long time. Um, and boy, does it help to upgrade them. <laughs> So make sure you check them out. Um, and maybe do some reviews. The best thing I can say about the characters is if you're gonna wish on this banner, the character event banner, look up the characters that they're using. Unless it's a brand new character. Like Sino's been out for a while and he's a, he's a boss, okay? I highly recommend him if you need a strong character. Um, but he is, he is a kind of person that's like, he needs to be on the field to do his damage though. So you need to be able to have support characters to work with him. But he is so strong and I highly recommend him. But what I'm trying to say is, before you wish for a character on this banner, you might want to see the reviews of the characters and combine that with what you have for your teams and decide, okay, is this character worth it for these teams that I want to build? Um, or you could just be like, oh, they're cool, I want them. And that's totally fine, that's, you know, whatever. But that's how I try to logically decide which characters to pick a lot of times because you want to go with what goes best for your teams. And since I have two accounts, you know, some would go better on this team than they would on the other team. Like, boy, do I freaking need Zongli. Zongli would be so good for this team. And so would Ito. Because I don't really have many Geo people that I actually like um, on this account. So, anyways, just food for thought. That's usually what I try to do for that. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. And let me look at the time here. Uh, so it's been about 90 minutes. We could actually pursue some more uh, exploration. A little bit if you guys would like. Or we can call it here. God, Leo is just so beautiful. God, I've missed it so much.
Oh, it is this dude. Should we try it? This guy's a little, a little bit more difficult. He's not hard, but he does a lot of damage at one time. And he also has stuff that it's like you get hit once and you're stuck in it. You can't escape. You cannot escape the arms. The evil arms. Oh jeez, how did that pull me back? Body and mind. No, my soul. Brain outlines your fate. Time for takeoff. I'll uproot you! Ring cutter! Can't see? We did it! Wasn't too bad. Earlier I was trying to play and talk, <laughs> so it was like, I'll not fight that other dude. Because I get a little bit confused playing this account where I'm like, wait, is my team strong enough? Like, I can't remember, because there was a time when my team was not strong enough um, to fight anything other than, like, basic people, because I leveled it up too soon. My world. I leveled up my world too soon. And stuff was stronger than I was, you know. With the wind. Oh, there's something over here. Oh, he has a chest right here. There's no hey guys. to this. I hear everything. Send them into the vortex. Becomes the hunt. Picked Thanks. the wrong test subject. What Yeah, so earlier I was talking about how my favorite part of the game is this, the exploration. <laughs> and my second favorite part would be the plot. Well, I think my actual second favorite part would be the actual characters themselves. The fact that they take the time to build these characters and then they actually have like full characters that you build that are well-rounded and for the most part and have opinions and lives and what's your battle plan that's that's my favorite thing is that they develop throughout the story and you actually get to know the characters um maybe i just need more friends or that i don't know but <laughs> i'm a writer that's really what it is. More speed. So I love the character Shut development up. and having such strong characters in a game is just such a yeah. such an important thing to me. Thank for mercy. Yeah. It gives the game a lot of value yeah. for me. And then I guess after that it would be the plot. You know, like the just the, just playing the story quests I enjoy. 
Not that it's like the most original plot ever all the time. <laughs> I'm not trying to say that. Um, that would be a whole other rabbit hole that I don't want to go down. But yeah. As you explore, I'm sure you've seen, I just did one. There's a ton of puzzles throughout the game to do. More speed. And each area has ones that are unique to the area, you know, or start in one area. And, you know, like, they might carry you over. Like the fire, the torch puzzles are everywhere. Um, doesn't discriminate by clan. folks Sumeru well the chasm then Sumeru that over there that's Sumeru this is the chasm looks so weird at night <laughs> sun's coming out though maybe you'll be able to see it a little bit better I love the music here in the chasm um, not the, like, ominous music in the mines, but, like, there's this couple songs. When you're out here, that are my favorite. This music is putting me to sleep. I'm gonna have to change the, the thing. But I think we'll probably call it here. Um, I have some other recordings to do and stuff that I should get on. And I need to rest my voice for a few minutes. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope it wasn't, you know Keep up Annoying or anything. I just, you know, like to try to talk about Some things that maybe other people don't always understand That should hit everybody, right? There we go What do we have here? Hope you guys have a great day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.